word, everybody. We back again with the livest podcast in the band. So go tell a friend, come right back and tune your ass in because we finna get it in. Today, I got a special guest in the building with me today, man. I'm talking about the one and only, man. I'm talking about this nigga been working so hard, man. It's, it's due time. You feel me? I'm talking about my main man, Bunker. Be in this bitch, man. What's the word, man? Hey, man, what's going on, bro? Man, I'm over here. I'm myself out there. Y'all see what it is, man. We finna get hired in that thing. I'm finna pick my dog's brain. So don't y'all go nowhere, man. Stick around. Go tell a friend. You know what it is. What's good with you, bro? How you been doing? I'm straight. What's good with it, man? What's happening, man? Hey, man. So we got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? We bumped into each other at the festival. Yeah, man. my life. But it was like we were supposed to because I had already been wanting to bump into you. And on you said life. you wanted to bump into me. On my life. And we had to make this happen, person. man. That right, exactly. That was the first time I see you in person as well. So I said, we got to get this shit on the books, man. We got to make sure we get a bunker B interview in the books, man, because you've been doing your thing around the city for so long that I feel like a lot of people need this. Like they only know the music side of you and whatever you post, and I feel like you're not really a social media type person. So like people don't really yeah, know so. bunker B. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Before we get too far, man, I want to make sure that we get the origin story with you, man. I want to make sure we do, that we give them who you are, where you come from, and what it was like for you growing up. Man, well, shit, I really grew up introverted. That's why you talking about, like, you don't see me. I be funny as fuck on social media or something like that. Right. Though, something yeah, like, that. like, you, you have some really, moments when, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you chill how you chill, but, like, you're not one of them people. Like, I, I feel like a lot of artists, they... They spend a lot of time on social media, sometimes in the wrong way, sometimes in the best way. Yeah. I see, I, it seemed like with you, like, you just use it just when you need to, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? On my life. what you need. Pro- on my life. Promotion. Like, just talk about what you got going on, but, like, I don't feel like you are everyday poster. Yeah, I ain't, though. <laughs> but I, I really grew up real introverted, though. I ain't really, I ain't know. At first, I don't know. I ain't really started. I really used to just be to myself in my room for a long for the longest of my time for like Are you the only child or hell no nah. I got Yo, you, you you just said it. Just I mean, but it. I know. Yeah, see, I got look, I got brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people may not know. So yeah, on my life, on my life, yeah, you're right. But I got brothers and sisters though, but I just always been introverted into myself, you feel me? So I used to, you know, just be in my room rapping or something like that. Until that was like younger years, but I'm talking about like up until like probably 15, 16 or something like that. And then I start Getting out, mingling. Getting out, mingling. And shit. Yeah, so, like, yeah. really, you spent a lot of time just to yourself. Was yeah. it because, like, you didn't really trust people or shit? You were just, like, shit. Like, you the I youngest? Think, you the, what, I'm like, the second to youngest. The second to youngest. I don't so know. I, I think was, it's just in my character or something like that. I don't know. But you just more so, like, with your siblings? Like, shit. Yeah, like, I fuck with them. Yeah, siblings. all my life. I'll be with them or something like that. But it, it can be like that, too. Some, uh, some, I feel like some siblings, man, they be more comfortable with just vibing with their own siblings yeah. other than, like, trying to branch out and get a friend. So, all my so, life, though, that's, that's how I, it was just basically some shit like that. It's just in my character. But it went, I mean, growing up, it wasn't, like, hard, too hard, too easy. It wasn't that special. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, did the, uh, did the, shit. So did the streets play a part in growing up, or? Man, hell nah. That's good, man. I really, yeah, I always go right past what you ask me. You ever find yourself in a street situation? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> that nigga said, hell no, nah. we ain't trying to make this on Vlad and uh, Vlad yeah, TV interview, but you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, yeah, 2014, 2015, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Actually, before we get into the 2014 run, what made you start rapping? What made you become Bunker Man, B? I've been, okay. Bunker B, that's what I've been getting called. That's my real family nickname. Though. That's the nickname that the family called you? Yeah. I can okay. see a letter again. But, but yeah, that's the family nickname. So that just really came easy. But look, I've been rapping since I was like, I don't know. I started we used to with my little with my brothers and sisters and shit. We used to just freestyle rap on some playing shit uh, when we was younger. So shit. As I got older, probably eleven, twelve. I always was, you know, just freestyling to myself or whatever. But as I got older, like eleven, twelve, mm-hmm. that's when I really start writing and doing shit like that. Yeah. So that's when you start taking it serious, like yeah, like like who I want to be a rapper type shit. I had in my head like, damn, I could really be a rapper. And when was and, like, what was the first song you wrote? You remember the first song I wrote? Yeah. Or the first time got made, <laughs> like like I look, cause I, mean, look, shit, I, remember, much the same I remember, shit. I remember the first song got really remembered though. It was when I was little. I was probably like 
Oh, well, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, you remember the first song you made? No, I don't remember it. I'm saying, like, I remember making it and then just telling people and rapping and, and like, really remembering the lyrics to it. It was real remember? short, but I was I was young, though. That's what I'm saying. So. Do you remember the reviews you got from it? No, it was, like, it wasn't even like that because I was only, like, six, saying, like, no, retarded I'm shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you was rapping into, like, these yeah, people, like, you talk, like, like family like, members, yeah, like, they were saying, like, okay, that's that done here because it, it had decent said, cadence. Get your little badass song. No, they were saying. It was like good feedback because it had like a nice, it had decent cadence. You feel me? It was like it was written with good structure. I mean, like it was said with good structure and stuff like that, and with rhyming words at least. You feel me? So it was like you got. Any I always had people in your family. I need to cut you up, bro. No, nah, you stay. You stay. No, nah, I was just, I was just, I don't even remember, bro. I'm blasted. You know, we both. Feel <laughs> my life, man. No, man. Do you but, have any other musical people in your family though? Like, or are yeah. you just that one musical talent? That, Shit, I mean. I don't really, I mean, I got a cousin up in motherfucking Texas, he doing his thing, too. What about a media family? No, I don't got no. Oh, yeah, my mom, I'm tweaking. My brother just started taking rapping serious. My little brother, that's crazy. Word? His, his name, JR, on my life. Shout out to JR, He been man. up on my life. Shout out to JR. He been up in the booth lately going crazy. And he going crazy. On my life. He mean what he's saying, and he's saying what come he on, mean. Come on, man, I forget. I sure Come on, man, JR, talk, talk your head. talk, man. Yeah, JR coming, though. He might be the next interview on Loud Talk. We're going to have to make it happen for fun. For a shit show, no, yeah, but, but that's my uh, blood, Lord So brother, do he get like his? He get his shit from you, or like, is he a different style from you? Like, what's his style like? I don't, know. I don't know if it's like he got his own style. If you ask me, because like you know, I don't know what his, his style. He really spinning bars. He really spinning like real life like situations and. You know, really, really yeah, really it ain't music. like he not really using no auto tune or nothing like that. He got a good authentic sound, like just so he rapping, got his just own rapping. sound already. Just yeah, and around. like his choice of beats. If you ask me, his choice of beats nice too, though. Like he That's just it's up, different. Man. His choice of beats different than a bitch. Yeah, and he likes sample beats, all type of shit. He be going crazy. What you like know? That. What you doing to help him with his career so far? Like what you what you doing? You helping him just like in behind the scenes? You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause it can be yeah. Hard like to I'm get just trying to I'm just cosign. Already. Yeah, on my life, cause like really like I'm really just trying to keep on like you know sh at least show him. Go. Like, like I'll be telling him like little shit like on. so I'm finna help him start getting this shit on uh iTunes and shit like that, you feel me? He been like he just booked a couple of uh, studio sessions, but really we got the studio at the crib, you feel me? So like he be down there going crazy. So Is he learning how to record? Yeah, but the stuff? motherfucking yeah, I'm trying to teach him how to do that, but I ain't gonna lie, he, he, lately his patience ain't been right there. He's like, Man, I'm trying to record <laughs> this song. But I really do. I'm, I've been trying to uh, get him to be like, cause he be, he be, I don't know. I think he just get confused when he look at Pro Tools. I heard a lot of people say that before though. Yeah. But, uh, give me your top artist of all time, man. Any genre. Any top genre. artist of all artist. time. Damn, that's crazy though. Cause I don't do. Okay. I want to see like what where we look. Where we I ain't gonna lie. My top, my number one though that I can really say that that's gonna always feel like he got the best bars. To me personally, it's gonna be a little Wayne. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you said top what? Just top, top five. Top, yeah, top five. five all time. Your favorite, your favorite people. Top five artists though. Any genre, it can be R and B. It can be motherfucking. You just gotta be current though. You talking about current, or you just talking about who I fuck all with? Of all time, uh, any. I don't know, bro. Any, Cause look, bro, I'll be iffy. I'll be so iffy with music, bro. Like. I be liking a lot of artists, and then it's like, I don't really just sit and listen to one artist like that. So it's like, well, especially nowadays, okay, oh, yeah, I fuck with Meek Mill. Meek Mill, he fuck, oh, he hard. Okay, then, okay. What you oh. feel about Meek Mill? You, you think Meek should have smacked up 6 9 when they bumped into each other? Man, hell no. I, don't, I think he should He did right. He did I don't right. really, I don't really. He I said, what you trying to do, man? You trying to get me sent to jail? Look, I ain't you really. You trying to let him send me to jail? Look, he ain't want to, I ain't that ain't my situation, but look, I just feel like... What you would have did? I ain't gonna say what, what you would have put I your hands this... around his neck and <laughs> Mark Simpson did that ass real quick? I wasn't in the situation. I, hell no, but look, I feel... Yeah, I wouldn't did that. Look, man, that nigga meek. I feel like he got out of that situation. That nigga in a headlock, man. <laughs> I don't you can't say on these tracks what you gonna do to this man. Damn. He an entertainer. So both of them are at this point. Yeah, he like he handled it right. He ain't trying to. He got. I feel like I ain't gonna put that, like say that. Uh, so if mentioned. you if you were in the same venue with six nine, you wouldn't give a fuck. No, I wouldn't pay no attention. I don't even know. Like, what if he tried to turn up on you? 
Like what? I would. I wouldn't give him a reason what the to. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you trying to get on that with you? I wouldn't give him a reason to. Like <laughs> I, would, I don't know him. He don't know me. I wouldn't even. He could just know that you're a rapper. Yeah, I don't know. Like who is this nigga? He look like uh, Slaughter Gang. <laughs> Tell about Slaughter Gang. No, I don't know. I don't know. I. I don't know what I do in that situation. I ain't in that situation, man. Man, that's good, man. You ain't thinking like that, man. I gotta fuck with you, man. I gotta think. No, like I already, that. I already I told know. Y'all, this is our first time having him on the platform, so you know we gotta talk shit with him. Man. <laughs> Come on now. No, nah, though. So, like I was saying though earlier, man. Uh, 2014, 2015, man. You came in the game. You know what I'm saying? Dropping freestyles and remixes. Yeah. Oh, you buddy, came buddy, in buddy. swinging, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what? Wh why'd you come in that way? What? Why'd you choose to come in the game that way? <clears throat> Cause at that time, that's really just how I was rapping though. Uh, <clears throat> I really just had a whole lot of, I really used to just write. I ain't really, sometimes I ain't even write to a beat and then I just find a beat right to it. You feel me? I wasn't really on type beats. I, I, I did do a couple of type beats back then, but like, I was really more, I don't know. That's just how I was rapping then. It was just more of a bar. So I was just putting them on industry beats and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I damn near was listening to Meek Mill around that time too. Like it, it, it was damn near hot back then to do remixes. That was a thing to do, right? Yeah. Okay then. Nigga, you know, it was hella good doing coming. remixes. It was it making me want to do remixes to certain songs. You know, some people they're trying to come in the game making original songs and over different beats and shit. Don't call it a remix. Like you know what I'm saying? You were actually putting remix and freestyle on your shit. Like you yeah. weren't just trying to make it yours. Um, but 2015 though. You went viral, man. Um, I don't even think viral was the term at that shit. point. I think you went viral before going viral. Yeah. It was a viral thing. No, uh, but 2015, man, everybody that didn't know who Bunker B was got introduced mm -hmm. to Bunker B with oh, that like, backseat freestyle. Oh, man. Like, I remember that. What like what was your uh what was your what was your feelings going into that, man? Like, cause I seen you had a lot of backseat freestyles beforehand. Yeah. But that particular one, like, skyrocketed. Like, did you feel like it was going to do that for you? Or did you Hell feel like no. this was going to be just another you one look, that you look, added bro. to the repertoire? I ain't even know. Look, I was. this was before I had to go to work. McDonald's down the street, nigga. Keep it real with them now. <laughs> oh, my life. Keep it was it right there before people, then. Man. I was with Franco. I can't even remember who else I was with. I was with Franco with and today? somebody else, huh? And that who you got in the building with you today, Franco? Yeah, that my nigga Franco with Shout me today. Shout Franco, man. You know, he's been with me forever, though. But, man, I was on my... This before, I didn't. I don't know how long it was until I had to go to work. But, yeah, we just was in the car just chilling. We down there smoking, whatever. And then I just... I don't know, man. I don't know how it just came with the camera out and me in the back seat. But I was just rapping and he just recording me and shit. Okay, I was so Franco recorded Yeah, Franco okay. recorded me. I did, I did the freestyle, went to work. I did there because, you know, I can't. I couldn't be on my phone at work like that, so I couldn't see it like that, you feel right. me? But, like, I probably peeked at it a couple times, and then it was, I seen it, like, I guess, you know, doing a little something, something, I'm like, okay, cool. What was a little something, something at that time? Like, what was I, mean, I don't even remember, though, but I just know that I was peeking. Like, numbers, you like, okay, yeah, that's decent, like, okay, yeah. I didn't think I was going to do that. I don't remember the whole story like that, but I just remember it though. It was crazy because so I didn't what was even that know, number I did that, not think it was gonna do that though. What was the number that you seen it hit that made you be like, damn, they fucking with it? Bro. When you seen it hit so many yeah, K. At that time it was, was probably it? like one K, two K though. At that time <laughs> I'm like, bro, damn, okay. He was just excited at that point. Okay, that's dope, man. So you was actually like blown away then. Yeah, because that one kind of hit over ninety yeah. K on YouTube and shit. Yeah, that shit was different. success succeeded way past that on fucking Facebook. Yeah, on my life though. That's crazy. That man. was different at that time for me though. This so was it? Was you still in school at that time? Yeah. What was it like going to school for you? Like, after that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, bro. What was it like, like man? It was they going crazy? Oh, yeah, they Walker, were fucking up. Yeah, Walker. they were. Ah. Not, not like that, though. Can I get an autograph? Nah, they were doing that, though. <laughs> but they were, everybody was telling me that they seen it, though. Because they were like, oh, I seen that video. You was going crazy. It was just that type of shit. That's crazy, man. So after that, man, um, I know you had a affiliation with uh, Money Maniacs. Uh, yeah. You care to speak on how that even happened with you? Like how, how that happened? Yeah, how you even get that affiliation or where you signed? What 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 was the whole thing? Uh, no, nah, it was that? just like 
Basically, because Nino, my brother, you feel me, my nigga Nino is... Shout out to Nino, man. Yeah, shout out to Nino, man. Nino, my brother, so it's like... Damn, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, though. I always wanted to be Money Maniac when I was, like, rapping in my younger days and I seen them doing that shit, though. Straight up? Yeah, that that's dope. dope, man. A lot of people wouldn't even that say something dope. like that, that is, man. Uh, so that's, that's, even, that, that's even doper for you to say that shit. Nah, man. but for real, though. Because Nino always been my brother. I used to be like, bro, put me in the studio. <laughs> So you can you can't. Then that's crazy though. I forgot to huh? shout out my nigga Nino. He family that rap though. Hey. He go crazy, man. He got man, videos got out on bars, YouTube. Bars, man. Nino, shout Nino. Will you please stop? We gotta get Nino, yeah, Nino on the show, man. Nino be playing, bro. He, he will finna, you he's please stop drop, playing bro. with the shits, man. We need some more trap talk Tuesdays. Oh, my way. Can we get some of this shit, man? Can we get three, four, five songs out you, man? Can we get something, man? But first we need you on the show though, man. So let's start with that. Yeah, but no, sure, but man, so Nino, like, yeah, how'd you even get into that situation with Money Maniac? Man, Nino, he been my brother, so it's like, and I always wanted to be motherfucking Money Maniac, man, but around that time, this was dinner, this was dinner after I, uh, I don't know, I don't even know how it happened, he just, I, oh, okay, Till had reached out to me, they had seen me, I think they seen the uh, backseat freestyle, they seen all, all type of shit, whatever, I don't know. But, you know, I don't know what made him reach out to me or nothing like that, but Tell had reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? That he wanted and when you to, say no. Tell, you talking about Sonny Martell? Yeah, but this after Nino, had, I had already talked to Nino. He like, man, you might as well come fuck with Money Maniacs, whatever, whatever. And then I was, that's how I that? happened. started so, rapping, that's how it happened. Who was uh, still, like, on the label at the time that you got in there? Because I know that was a little bit after, like, uh... The first like original initial wave with Money Maniacs. That was who was like, like still the end, what, right? So who was all still who was all still like on Money Maniacs? They started off with a lot of people. Who was still there like as artists? I'm talking about as artists and, and, and singers. They weren't right, right. It was just, they were really focused on well. They they had moved elsewhere with what they had going on. Yeah, everybody. Okay. I don't know. So I don't shit, know. really, it was but just like shit affiliation then for you. It was just no, they was just uh, putting money into me though. I ain't gonna lie, they was. Oh, just, they was looking out. Yeah, they was looking out though. They were paying for videos them, and shit like that, you know. Shout out to them. And they, just, just, they was really trying to push me as an artist though. It's just you know, some shit don't be, you know. It, hey, we, hey. So, but, but they was really focused on. It was another artist on there. Shout out my nigga Fatigue. He be going crazy and shit. Shout out Fatigue. But yeah. They were just focused on that stuff. That's dope, man. I wish I could have seen, like, I wish y'all could have seen that all through. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody would have been able to see that whole thing through. But um, tell us about Skill Tip and Entertainment, man. Shout out Skill Tip and Entertainment, man. My nigga Nino, I was fucking with Nino, Tell. Me, Nino, Tell, and my nigga Dex. We decided to do that. Skill Tip and shit. You feel me? Now, that right there was like something big that I seen coming from you guys. Uh it was a lot of energy, a lot of bars. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of creativity. Crazy. Just a lot of different shit, man, all in one camp. Man, it was a small camp, man. Like how did it feel to be doing that, man? Yeah, you still that a part was fun, of that man. or just still Nah, now nah, it's just nah. Them they I still fuck with them and stuff like that, but you know, I'm really just on some independent shit right now. Right. I seen not too long ago, you you know what I'm saying? You made it official. You like you putting it all into the rap. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You, I want that. You head first with this rap right now. I want now, that. Man. What's one thing that you're doing different from then to now as far as marketing yourself? Then, well, I, from then to now? Yeah, like what's something different I ain't that gonna you're lie. doing Don't, well, really, as far as marketing yourself? Bro? Now it's like I'm starting to really, I ain't even start doing too much marketing right now. But look. I just started, I don't know, I'm starting to learn, I'm learning now, though, still, though, you feel me, so I don't really know. You been, like, you lot Yeah, but now I'm putting, my, I'm putting, I'm putting music on, uh, iTunes, I didn't even know how to put my, uh, my music on iTunes back then, you feel me? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, so now that you know how to do that shit, you actually applying that shit. Yeah. And you put, so that's a, that's And then, really, though, really you know even, even when I, my fault, but even Thank when you. I, even when I first started doing it, like. I probably put a couple songs on there and then I wasn't utilizing it how I was supposed to, you feel me? Like when I learned about it. So it's like, it was really starting to, I had to really start doing that too, though. That's I, a good thing. I really got videos that I'm gonna start shooting too, though. Yeah, really, we need them, man. We need more visuals, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you did, uh, since you got on the scene, though, man, you've you been collabing with a lot of people, man. Is there any collabs in the city that you, 
haven't collabed with or any people in the city that you haven't collabed with yet that you would like to collab with, mm-hmm. like to possibly work with? And I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of artists that I did work with that I fuck with. You feel me? Like, I don't... I just did some shit with my nigga named Rico. He from out here. I did some shit with my nigga, uh, Leek J. He been doing his thing. But I don't really got nobody that, like, I'm, I'm not really a feature. Like, I, I mean, I will, I'm will. i willing to work. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't really got nobody off back that I can say. Because I do music with my nigga Nino. You feel me, bro? So if somebody see this interview and they, they feel like, damn, I want to work with Bunker. Is it they cool for them to hit you? They can for sure hit me. I'm willing to work, like I said. That's dope. So y'all heard it here first, man. So just because he ain't mentioned your name. Yeah, don't take don't it personal. I, I, I ain't saying like, I don't want to work, work with work. nobody. Let's I'm work. saying like, I just don't be thinking about it like when I'm working because I don't know. And I ask this shit so though. But, uh, I noticed with your music, man, your, your music, you make <coughs> music for the ladies, but at the same time, you make music that's some people will probably consider pain music. Yeah. Like you didn't you didn't been through some shit or you didn't you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um I like how do you cope with how do you actually deal with that type of shit though outside of your music? Like how do you deal with the pain outside of your music? Smokey smokey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it ain't it ain't nothing too crazy. It's just like I just make music for it. Like, people can relate. I, I know people can relate to what I would be spitting, man. But see, I, I ask that because, you know what I'm saying, stress and, like, PTSD and, you know what I'm saying, mental illness, like, that should be real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of younger, sure, a lot of younger black, you know what I'm saying, man, a lot of minorities in general that come from the hood and shit, they done been through some shit and sometimes they be... They go through shit, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, a, a army man was, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Drake, I mean, life. who's that? Uh, somebody done spoke on this before. I think G Herbo. It was Herb. I think he spoke on it before. Like, yeah, shit like that, man. Like, but I know it's it's serious and it's real here in our city as well, man. And I wouldn't yeah, feel sure. like I'm actually helping or doing anything if I don't ask, like, how you doing? Like, right. On my life, though. Like, for sure, for sure. Dude, that's real. Like, that's 100, though. Getting, like, just seeing like what you doing to work on that, you know what I'm saying? Because it may be other people that's going through shit that look up to you and idolize your music and you help them go through yeah. shit. Yeah. So just for them to hear that you speak on shit like that and you got awareness on it, yeah, it's gonna help them appreciate you and what you put out more. Yeah. Oh yeah, shout out my nigga uh VP man, five gear. That five gear dot com it should be dropping in like what, sixty days sure, I think. Bro, you gotta hold that I'm, shit I'm up. Trying man. to get that bitch look that's Gear. Okay now. Okay now. Hey, I actually followed him on Instagram. Hey, yeah, shout out to him, bro. I fucks with him. I have to get that up in there. Let me put this bitch on real quick. Oh yeah, what was you saying? My fault. My fault. I had to get no, that up no, man. We I pretty much had. We pretty much ended up. You know what I'm saying? Where we needed to be at on that man. I was hoping that you was dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Anything that you are dealing with, you dealing with it the right way. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If anything, you just put that shit in music and go crazy. That's a fact, man. Um, What's one of the hardest things you ever had to deal with, though? Like, in general, what's one of the hardest things you ever had to deal with? And how'd you handle it? I mean, some shit you ain't, clearly you don't have to discuss. Yeah, I know, but shit, I don't know, man. I can't really say what's the hardest thing that I've been through. Like, I don't know. I feel like everybody just go through shit in their life, period, you feel me? So it's like, I don't know. Hey, y'all think my nigga Bunker high, y'all. Nah, that too. Super. He fucking fried right now. (laughs) He fucking fried. The hardest thing, I think. Come on, speak on it, Draco. Shit. Tell them be consistent, stay down till you come up. Oh my life though. I do be fighting with that though. Like, you know, 
Nah, you know, I'm talking about just period for anybody. And how you, you know did stay down till you came up. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you ain't always look. had it. Like, yeah, I didn't always have it. But look, it done been times. Look, I done, look I, it done been times I done been real broke and shit. You feel me? I done, I, man, I don't really. So I done been broke. Went broke for music and everything. You feel me? So it's like. You didn't, like. So like, really like, just like. Try to, like try to just really focus on music and like. Try to, you know. I ain't have that much money back then. Anyways, you feel me? Like. This, I, is the real, like, bro, this is the real, bro. This is the real thing. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know. I done been broke a lot of times. So it's like, I remember being broke. And this nigga, Draco used to tell me, I used to think that it was over with. You feel me? Like, thinking I'd never get nothing back. This nigga, Draco, always used to be like, he used to be like, uh, bro, just chill out, bro. You don't get it. Baby. Like, because, you know, it's money. I used to be tripping over money and stuff. Right. Like, not having okay. money. Like, who wouldn't, though? You feel yeah, me? Yeah, on my life, though. But that's the the hardest shit that I done had to deal with, though, man. Just, like, being broke, though, because that shit be being devastating. Broke, so pretty much to sum that up is... And then, everybody, like, like... The hardest thing, it sounds like, was you being broke for something that you love. Going yeah. broke for something that your parents... Yeah, though, that you know too, what I'm saying? Something sure. that you love is making you go broke. Which, you know what I'm saying, anybody that has a passion for anything, it can it can get like that. On my life. But it's all about, the, like Draco said, staying yeah. down until you come up. On my life, though. That's something that Shout I out to Franco, to. man. Shout out to Draco, man. Shout you know what I'm saying? For Shout chiming in. Summing that up very, very well for us. You feel <laughs> Right, No, um, so yeah. now we move on, man. You in a relationship? Yeah. If you got Don't like that, man. I got, look, nah, yeah. I got a situation, though, for real. Hold on. A situation shit. No, nah, not a situation. I got a, I got a girl, though. Okay, then you better you better claim Look, bro. Shit. Yeah, I got a girl. I must say I got a girl. D- shit. I be posting my girl, though, so I don't... You know. Oh, okay. Well, shit. He got a girl. I don't even know. See, man, it was me. It's probably the way I asked it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't... No, I'm it was sorry. different me. You told You just told him I'm high, bro. I be doing high shit. You can I'm say... I'm doing high too, bro. <laughs> so it could have been me. G, damn. But no, though, you think she gonna get mad if we play this game called Fuck, Kill, Mary? You ever play? You ever? Yeah, you ever play fucking man? What kind of nigga would I be to put somebody fucking locally in the game, bro? That'd be just some sabotage. Yeah, I was shit. No, Uh, but yeah, no, it went. She went being like. All right, so look, then I'm happy you said it because we got three contestants on fuck kill Mary for you today. Who is that? We got Young Miami. Young Miami. I don't even remember what she looked like like that. You don't remember what Young Miami looked like? Nah, not right on. And we should have pulled her up. We ain't gonna pull her up for copyright reasons, you know what I'm saying? Type but shit. Young Miami from the City Girls. Uh-huh. You gotta kinda, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Draco, if you could, man, pull her up on your phone, man. Kinda just showing real quick who she is, man. You know what I'm saying? You know who Meg the Stallion is. Yeah, I know who Meg. You know how she look. For sure, for sure. Okay. okay. And you got last but not least, Mulatto. Oh, uh, yeah, that's easy. That's easy. You don't even know, you don't even need to know what she looks look, like. No. Huh? Fuck kill Mary now. You don't even you don't need to know what my phone is. Young shit. Miami looking like. Do I got a Mary? Somebody? <laughs> yeah, you got a Mary. Hold on, <laughs> now it's the principal of the game. All right, man. Fuck kill Mary. Somebody Fuck got the guy. Somebody got somebody die. only getting the meat. I got a killer. And somebody I don't getting want the bitch Like, man, you on the island, man. You, you ain't got room for everybody like that. He <laughs> funny as hell. Okay, so fuck. That's Young Miami. Is that her? I don't even know who that is. Like you said, I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that, wait, wait, wait. You said that the right one. You said that the right one. Good. This is her picture. She don't be got two posts on there. That's not the right picture. That's the Ronnie fucking post that she posted. You can't do that. You can't use that. No, no. I went to her page. She only got two posts, bro. That's her and JT. Let me see. So you know what JT looked like? I don't know who JT. Something like that. Like, I got to see him, though. Yeah. JT was dark skin with Miami the last one. All right, he said he got to see him. So so Miami in the green? Who would draw, you know what I'm saying, JT in this time at home? Huh? Who JT would draw for a kill Mary out of these three? JT, look, this this Miami. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so young Miami, Meg Thee Stallion, <laughs> and Mulatto. Miami's dead. <laughs> dead. Oh. He threw her in the water with the piranhas and sharks. Okay. No, all right. No, no. So now no, you got to no, so no, 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 fucking Mary. He said that was it. Fuck a Mary. And you only got Meg Stallion left. I'm going to fuck Mulatto. Meg. I'm going to fuck Meg. 
You gonna you gonna climb that horse, huh? Yeah. Mulatto, that's my bitch. <laughs> he said it's off the grip with her, man. Okay. I ain't gonna so he said he putting that ring on Mulatto. Yeah. If I had to like that, what? Yeah. I, don't feel I mean, it's a game, bro. And shit, those were the three contestants in the game today. And you chose Will, okay, my okay. friend. Yeah, you I feel like I Will. chose Will. Say less. If y'all thought he chose well at home, man, y'all comment in the comments right now who y'all would have did. What would be yeah, y'all choices? Y'all like, let us know something. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all taste. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you get signed today, man, what's the first thing you're doing, man? It's on. Yep, if you get signed to a label, man, they pay you that bag that you feel like is the bag that you need and, and you can, it's, it's that. And it's just the beginning of it. It's the first thing you're doing. Man, look. The first thing that I'm gonna do is find the best marketing plan, or try to search for a marketing plan that's good for me, man. Cause I ain't really looking to get signed though at this point. But if I get signed right now, for if you're not looking to get signed, then what you doing it for? I'm not really looking. Do you to get need signed, to be you know, signed to be able to be where you need I, to be? No, nah, I don't feel like to. I don't like, feel like you know, need. To I don't be. know what's important with the deals and stuff like that. I'm an outsider. To me man. personally, from my looks of it you feel me i don't feel like i need to be signed to at least you know generate some generational wealth you feel me you feel like you can stay independent and just yeah if i do it right though i'm not saying it's just easy it's gonna be like but like if i do it right and find the right resources then you feel like it's gonna take you a little longer to get where you want to doing it that right most definitely do you have most a problem likely. with that though hell no that's I good ain't that's so, a good thing that is one thing, though. I ain't really looking to get signed. Now, if you could give yourself 10 years ago some advice today, what would it be? Stay consistent. That's it? Oh, my life. That's the Stay only consistent. thing I can tell myself. That's Stay consistent, young bunker. What would you give some advice to somebody that's in the shadows of you right now that's coming up like a 10, you 10 years ago right now, other than stay consistent? What would you tell them? Somebody, like, just rapping, trying to come up, and, oh, yeah, damn, I can't say stay consistent, because that's the biggest thing, though. I mean, I, uh, so we got to stay consistent. Okay, I feel, I, I feel like somebody, uh... You feel like work on your craft, or... Oh, uh, yeah, definitely work on your craft. Watch who you attach your name to. Don't be quick to sign a deal. Oh, look, don't be quick to sign a deal, though. I'm glad you said that, though, but hold on, though. I'm just no. going off of what you were saying, so that's why I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Would you tell I me? I mean, no, nah, look, no, nah, fuck that. I don't even want to say that, though, because if a motherfucker want to sign a deal, it is good deals out there, though, that people can get into. But I'm just, this uh, that's just really a personal preference, if you ask me, though. So I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with it, because yeah, it ain't the, the so way that you're either. going is the best way that I would like to see an artist go and win yeah. in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know, though, but man, because look, the biggest thing I can tell a motherfucker is stay consistent and, like, you know... Be yourself, man. Strap up when you have sex. <laughs> hey, be real. That's what my life, though. Nah, I don't know, man. Look. <laughs> but look, though, I, feel like, I feel like an artist got to make sure he, you know, staying con that's the, the biggest thing about being an artist to me, though, is staying, staying consistent, though, too. Like, that's in all aspects, though, because, like, I'm talking about staying consistent in life, period. But like as an artist, you gotta stay consistent with your music. So it's like, and, and that's the biggest aspects. thing. Cause like if you're not consistent, then they gonna stop fucking listening. They, but they they're not gonna, gonna stop. But it's gonna like you know, you yeah, they gonna, it ain't gonna, you gotta have a no chance. Really, it's about marketing too, though, man. So get your marketing right. So, uh, how do you feel that you changed since the streets don't love us to now? Change. Uh, Talking about your rap game, like what, oh, yeah, now how you feel like as far as your rap, like how what you feel changed from the streets don't love us to now. Yeah, how you feel you done changed? Back then, I was feel? doing a lot of, I was spending a lot of just bars and shit and doing like that. Like uh, I ain't make too many songs back then. You feel me? Like now, I do like I ain't really, I wasn't really a hook verse hook ass nigga. A lot of times, I was just going through beats and just rapping, uh, rapping through them and stuff, like. I did Streets Don't Love You, okay? That had a hook. I had a couple of songs with hooks, though. I ain't going to act like I didn't, but, like, 
most of my songs or most of the shit that I was just rapping and dropping, it was just straight, raw rapping. But like now I do I and I've been playing with the auto tune lately too. I don't know. See? I've been just I've been just trying new shit, man, and trying to explore trying to explore myself as an artist though. I don't know. I'm really trying to just tap into myself. So long story short, you've been elevating. Yeah, man. Through life I've been really I'm just trying to you know, I'm trying to find myself in this shit, you feel me? I think you got it, man. You got your you got your unique sound, man. You know what you want, man. And you've been grinding long enough, so in due time, bro, I feel like that bag is going to touch you. For Your sure. fan base is going to bless you. For sure. It's going to take off for you. Yeah. But no, though, man, what's the next move for you? The next move? Man, uh, oh, yeah, I just dropped Introverted. Okay. That's on uh, all platforms, including YouTube, if you ain't got the iTunes. So go stream like it, stupid yeah, crazy stream that shit. But, uh, man, I've been, lately I've been in the studio a lot, though, a lot more than usual, so. I'm a, uh, I'm 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 really gonna be working on another tape. I really want to work on two different tapes, like That's a mixtape EP type shit. You feel me? Yeah, shit. but I got to get up in there and make sure I'm up in the booth when I when I'm supposed to be. Well, you in there. hey, you told all of us fans, man, <laughs> that you are head first with this rap shit now. Yeah. So we look forward to hearing that new music. But I don't want to hold you up, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you're busy, man. I know you probably got some studio time to get to now. And shit. Type shit. That's what, that is what I'm going to go do, though. I ain't going to lie. After this, I'm in the studio, though. So, look, though, before we leave, though, I need you to let these people know how they can get in uh, contact with you. Blah. Shit. How they can get in contact with you. How they can uh, hit you for just fucking uh, a feature. Uh, shit. How they can follow you. Hey, if you Anything got beats, you, you, got beats you wanna follow yeah, me, you know. All that. Everything is official Bunker B. It ain't no underscores or, underscores or nothing. You feel me? Just, you can follow me on uh, official Bunker B. My email, BunkerBSBI.com. BunkerBSBI.com, you feel me? If you wanna send me some, whatever. But, uh, you know, I'm accepting features, all that type of I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work. And if anybody wants to be a fan, you know what I'm saying, where can they follow you at? You said Bunker B on all uh, social media it's platforms? It's official Bunker B on official all. Official Bunker B. Uh, official Bunker B on all social media platforms. For sure, so. And before we get out of here, man, I need y'all to do me a favor as well. I need y'all to go to Facebook and hit the page up, Official Loud Talk TV For and sure. Loud Talk TV. Shout and out I'm, Loud Talk, man. Come on now. And I need you to go to Instagram, Loud Talk TV. And if you're on Twitter, man, you like that shit, go to Loud Talk TV one. And if you want to see this interview and the interviews that we got from back, you know what I'm saying, from, and the people that we just posted and the shit that we got coming, go to Official Loud Talk TV on YouTube, man. Hit the bell, the notification, and never be late, bruh. It's been one, man. Go tell a friend. Okay, we gone. Man.